Hey everyone and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today you guys we will be doing our paycheck to paycheck. I am a day late but nonetheless let's get it done. If that is something that you would be interested in stay tuned. Okay, you guys, let's get started on the paycheck to paycheck. I want to make sure that I'm trying to go in the order so I don't get myself all confused. So I definitely need to start a new page here. So um, I may leave this out so I can look at my monthly and also I can see uh, what's on the pretty much the monthly breakdown. So this week. Let's get it in here. This is week, I believe, three. Let me double check. This is actually the second full week. Um, I'm going to put third week, and it is the 11th through the 17th. So this week, we have a couple of categories. Um, let's see, I have one, two, three, four. I kind of list four lines. So, of course, we always start out with hair because that is my main source of income. Then we have Shopify. And then we have Miscellaneous, which is Etsy, Nails, if I do Instacart, whatever. Um, I was going to list Nails because I got a couple of Nails to do this week. But um, some of them are like pro bonos just for me to kind of get some pics out there uh if you i can't remember what video it was on maybe been like that video or something like that i'll try to remember and list it above but i was saying that i needed to really promote the hair i mean excuse me the nails more so this week i'm projecting 750 i've been looking at what i make and it's coming in around eight every week sometimes more sometimes less shopify it hasn't been that great um i did make a sale on shopify this week but i'm gonna give that 25 miscellaneous i've done a set of nails this week i did get paid for those and i have um etsy so i'm gonna put that at 200 that's including the nails Okay, so let's go into the bills that are due this week. On the 11th, my car note was due. And I do half and half, and that's 181.63. They haven't taken that out. Oh, also, you guys, I took from my vacation sinking funds to help with some of my bills. And I want to say 300 of that. Um, let me put sinking funds here. We're going to add that as income this time. Okay. And so, again, here we have the car note. That is 181.63. And then I have Capital One due on the 15th. I'm trying not to write so hard because I probably need a steadier arm for my camera. And it's just my phone and it makes the table shake. So, I'm trying not to do that. Now, the minimum amount is 25 I did give them a little extra. I can't remember when, but um, we're going to go for 40 with them this week. Matter of fact, I'm just going to go ahead and pay that today. And then we have Citibank due on the 17th. And I pay Citibank and uh, Barclays at the same time. So I'm going to put Citibank... And I think Citibank is around 40. We're going to try to give them 50. And Barclays, that's that big one. It's normally $84. We're going to give them 100. And I think I gave them something extra. I can't remember. I can't keep up, Lord. It's just so many bills, and I'm just trying to hit everybody with something extra. So I'm going to put 100. If I give them more, I'll definitely, it'll reflect in either my closeout or um, next week. So, and I also, I'm going to go ahead and pay them early so that way this won't be pending. I found that this is my problem, that the bills that I pay, like the 17th is the last day of the week. If I pay that on the 17th, it's really coming out the following week. And then I'm stuck like, oh my goodness, I can't pay it. Then it's going to end up coming out 
on the 20th, which would be another car note, and then I'm struggling. So um, I'm finding that if I pay these things early, they'll come out. So that way I'm actually paying my bills on the week that they're due. If that makes sense, do you, are you following me? Um, because I'm self-employed, I'm gonna try to make it, uh, some, I'm gonna try to simplify it to make it understandable for those who aren't self-employed. But because I'm self-employed, the way I receive my money, I have this 300 right here pretty much buffer. I'm waiting on this to come out. So what I'm gonna do, these are due on the 17th, which is Saturday. If I wait to Saturday to pay these, these won't come out until the following week because it pins, so it won't come out to like Wednesday. Then that's really next week's income. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and pay those like today. So it pins for like two days. So that way they'll be actually coming out on the 17th. It's almost like if you write a check and you know how that check takes two, three days to clear. And then you know you'll have that money. You know what I'm talking about. You know you'll have that money there but in those two, three days. So it's kind of the same. So if I want these to come out this week, I need to pay those early. So that's what I'm going to do with those. And that's really that I, all that I have. Now I'm looking at next week. My car loan is due on the 20th. And I do need to leave a little buffer in there for that. So I'm going to go over here to debt. Uh, or do I? Yeah, that well, it is debt. Um, I'm just going to leave. I'm going to put buffer here. And I'm just going to put that on the 17th as well. And I'm just going to put, I'm going to try to put like 100 on that. Let 100 sit there because then by next week, the money will be there to cover uh, my car loan. I already know it'll be there. So maybe I'll just take that out. Let me just skip that all together. <laughs> this is my... Okay, so next up is booth rent. So I just took that buffer off, um, put in booth rent, and that's due on Saturday, and that is 200 as well. So now let's do some calculating. We're gonna go back up here and calculate income. And that's 12.75. And that, of course, that's only because of that income that I pretty much paid myself from my savings. So now let's go down and total up our bills. And we have $571.63. Now, I know it looks like I have a lot of money left. But I don't. <laughs> and this is good because, again, we're guesstimating. So as I've said in the past couple of my videos, I really would love to be zero-based budget. <clears throat> I can zero-base this all the way out, throw money in places that, you know, I would love to throw it at. But I never really know if this number here, which is my main income, is going to be true. Or any of this actually is going to be true. But I do know that this right here, the sinking funds, I do know that that is in my bank account. It is still there and that I have that. So um, I really went kind of low. Well, not kind of low. I went a little bit lower than my average that I've been averaging the past uh, month on a weekly basis here. But I think that's a pretty good number. So, but again, this could not be that. So this 571 here is a pretty good number. As y'all can see, some of my bills are getting less and less. Remember, I was having eight and nine hundred dollar weeks, so I had to come out with eight and nine hundred dollars to pay bills. So, oh, and then my husband's birthday. So, see, we got a couple of notes here. My husband's birthday is Sunday. This is a time of year where everybody's birthday, everything is going on, so it gets so busy for me. And that was another reason of me kind of backing out of the vacation because this is that time of year I have my son's birthday, then it's my husband's birthday, dog's birthday, my daughter's birthday, then it's my mother's birthday, then it's, uh, I don't really celebrate Halloween, I know, I really don't do Halloween, but if I wanted to buy Halloween candy, sometimes I do buy Halloween candy, um, then there's a Thanksgiving, then there's Christmas, and all Christmas parties, you know, pre-COVID, so it's just a 
a busy time of the year for me. So this, you know, it just wasn't a good time. So anyway, we have hubby's, hubby's birthday. Um, my daughter's birthday is the following week. So I'm going to put her down. Then my family, we're doing a bowling on Sunday, which is actually my husband's birthday. Um, Sunday bowling. So let me put that down. And I do want to take my husband out to a really nice restaurant for his birthday. So right now, I'm going to leave this here. Um, if there's anything extra I want to throw at debt, I want to throw an extra $100 at debt. And that means I'll just disperse this amongst anything you know or whatever and then here on sinking funds um we got to give to christmas so if there's anything extra christmas would get it and i want to give christmas at least 80 and then down here in cash envelopes which will be gifts um i'm looking to spend about 120 on dinner with my husband um, and then miscellaneous spending in the cash envelopes. We normally go, like I said, we're going to go to this bowling with the family. Um, we don't, do we pay? Yeah, we know well, last time we didn't have to pay, um, unpaid, but I'm just want to anticipate paying. So I'm going to put 50 here. Um, matter of fact, this needs to be more because, um, my usual miscellaneous spending, and when I add that up by tracking my spending, I notice I'm spending roughly 70 to $80. So if we add that plus the 50, I'm just gonna round it out at about 140, okay? Let's hope we have enough. And if it does not um, zero base out, I'm cool with that. So let's take 12.75. And then we're gonna take off the cents on this. And we're going to subtract 571. That leaves us with 704. And then we're going to subtract 100, which is our debt. And then we're going to subtract 80 for Christmas. That leaves us with 524. And then we're going to subtract, um, this equals up to 260. And that leaves us with $264. To play with so like i said so if this doesn't come in exactly 750 i still have this small little buffer here to play with and then remember um i erased it but i was talking about my car note that would get me ahead so i'm gonna throw week ahead some money if that's some left and i would give them 64. so then we'll subtract the 64 and that leaves us with 200 so again as much as I want to be a zero based budgeter I just got to be real with myself and I got to be real with y'all it's just probably not possible I'm not basically a zero based budgeter I'm not zero based in my budget out I can do it on paper clearly <laughs> I can appear if these numbers were correct but uh, they're just not correct all the time so I have to go off of pretty much a um base pay so and not an actual pay if it was actual pay i could zero base my budget out but it's not so and then you have to incur for things that this may happen that's why i want to do this week ahead i definitely want to get into my buffer so like if there's anything left i'll throw at my sinking funds um which is a emergency fund excuse me so that is that you guys that is my paycheck to paycheck weekly check-in i'm gonna pop it here because i should be done yeah okay and i hope the camera didn't shake too much this time i tried to <laughs> even it out because last time i was like girl that camera was just going for it so that is it if you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more content like this from me do me a favor hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever i upload content also, leave me a comment in the comment section and thumbs up. That really helps the algorithm. It helps everyone to find my page. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.